trying to make it a little bit longer in duration so that you can still more effectively play around objectives. Just yeah, we'll see what ends up happening with that. It's a cool champion, but right now it's just not, not working. There's the LeBlanc ban first by Samsung, as they have in all of our games so far today. We'll see what IM wants to ban first. Nidalee, okay. Yeah, I think that's not a, not a bad ban at all. Just don't deal with it. It's not something that a lot of teams have a lot of experience about right now, so why not just uh, take it out? And the Karth is banned too, okay. All right, so very targeted bans, yeah. pocket bans based on the last game. And Samsung doing the same thing. Are they going to remove the Corky as well? And no, Vagar. it will be the Vagar. They don't want to first pick it. First time we've seen a blue side Vagar in this series so far. And I am, how will you respond? They have been Rumble in both matches tonight. If they're worried about the Maokai first pick, they might just want to ban that too. Looks like Samsung will want to first pick Corky or Maokai here. I think you just ban the Maokai and force Kube and something else, but nope, Rumble. it's going to be Rumble. That's such a weird ban too, because again, Kube is just not ah. the greatest Rumble player, but uh, Ace, uh, Ace is able to take the Xerath away from Frozen. Now, this does leave up, yeah, Maokai and Corky. I am just going to take those quickly. Oops. Yeah, no surprise here with how the bans and picks have been going, that these would be the first selections. Uh, Ace did play one of his first games on Xerath and was fine safely farming on that champion. No real problems there. I wonder now what I am plans on doing against a Xerath. So they've got a lot of choices. I mean, we're back to that uh, blind first pick Xerath again, which for most people who aren't named Frozen, hasn't worked out terribly well. Yeah, GBM and Frozen, really the only players to be able to pull that off. Now, Frozen, yeah. can he play an Ari or something like that? He may play TF. Ooh, TF, yeah, could certainly That's work. actually a good, not a bad pickup, uh, considering that if you get that faster as Onya's Hourglass, you can engage into the back line onto Xerath. I would not like to see the Lulu here. Yes, you'll be safe in the laning phase, but this is a composition that really lacks damage, and we saw something very similar to this fail for the Jyn Air Falcons yeah, earlier Lulu. this evening. Lulu does pair well with Jarvan and Maokai, but if they're going to run the Lulu, I, I hope it ends up being Lulu's support. Yeah, still a possibility. Yeah. Definitely, and they may be worried about the lulu Maokai matchup in top lane as well, should Kube take that champion True. to that side of the map. And will they lock it in? Frozen has played a lot of mid lane Lulu. Okay, gonna switch it over to the Thresh, it looks like for now, just securing. Ah, there we go, the Ari though, that's, that's what are. I was wondering. Yep, there we Ari. There we Ari. There's a funny door. Uh, I'm just really fatigued at the moment, that's all it is. <laughs> They're just saying things, you know. Good lockup for Zareth. I mean, it gets pretty bad. I'm actually surprised they took the Lee Sin instead of the Jarvan. Just because you really don't want the Jarvan Ari combination if you first pick that Zareth. I think that could be. Well, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a, a flash out of Zareth early on in this game now. Yeah. I mean, Eve is going to have to basically be like a second mid laner if he wants to uh, keep Zareth safe. Yeah, I think just having that Jarvan with the, the Zareth gives you so many favors. It makes it a lot easier to hit your ultimate, it eliminates a lot of the pressure during the laning phase. So I am will be happy to get that Jarvan in their second round, not even having to prioritize it. Yeah. And we might see that Mundo from Kuve. We talked a bit about how that uh, might have been a better choice for Lilac last game. And it's still perfectly fine, I'd say, for Samsung here. And they will go ahead and lock that in along with the Graves. Popular counter pick to Corky right now. Tucson getting a bit of a massage from the coach as he decides what his support is going to be. I would imagine we're gonna see a Thresh here. Yeah, they do have they do have some solid engage potential with that Thresh and another way to pick up pick off Kuve, especially if I am lane swaps again, which I think we can anticipate them attempting, considering that has been their modus operandi over the course of this series so far. And opening up Tucson's roaming against that immobile mid laner, there's so many ways they can punish Kuve in the laning phase. Well, maybe a Leona too wouldn't be the worst thing here. Sure. Wow, they will go ahead and uh, go for that. It looks like. Yeah, that is a that is that deadly lane combo. Yeah. You know, this does kind of 
the Leona engage does give you a little bit more burst on whoever you catch to because of the the procs from the passive. So I, I do like that a little bit better in this case if you want to just straight up blow up Graves or Zareth. Well, I if if I am can't kill Zareth with this composition, they are hopeless. That first pick <laughs> yeah. Zareth I think has backfired magnificently in picks and drafts against Incredible Miracle. Of course, they banned the LeBlanc, but with that Ari up and so many other ways for them to deal with that champion and not taking the Jarvan early, they basically made Ace's life as difficult as possible. I think I am basically has built a composition that is a finely tuned Samsung killing machine. <laughs> At least a Zareth killing machine. Yeah. And again, they take champions that are passive in the early game. Samsung with the Bundo, with the Zareth. These are champions that need time to farm and ramp up. Ace does seem to be more that style of player, but... Yeah, still doesn't mean that that's going to be an optimal strategy or something that they can actually effectively execute. Although I will say, surprisingly, Samsung has shorn up a lot of their lane swap weaknesses, and they're e able to not get entirely smashed in lane swaps anymore, yeah. which is nice. That's a good development for them. Right, true enough. Well, here we go. The final game of the week. Let's see who takes it. I am or Samsung. Time to get in the game. Here we are, Samsung versus IM. Game number three. And we'll see who's able to take this one. Looking good for IM, but, you know, we said it before. I think uh, in this series, Samsung has put themselves closer to actually winning an entire match than they ever have before. Oh, I'm not confident that they're going to be able to pull it out this one, given their draft phase, Doa. I am I, really quite worried for them, in fact. I think so, too. But again, I feel like they're closer than they have been before. There are one million ways to kill Zareth with this composition. A million, really? Yes, one million. Different combinations Start of crowd controls. naming them. No, we're not playing 99 bottles of beer on the wall. We've got some time. No, we're good. You sure? So many different ways, yeah. Your last chance? Nah, I'm good. All right. <laughs> and again, no deep wards really coming in. At least Samsung got the ward onto the Many on Raptor the pit right there. They're trying to disrupt some of these stacks that are being placed down, and indeed they will. In fact, he's just not going to get any chance at those Raptors. He needs three in order to blow them up. So Tucson and Sonstar want to go for the 2v2 this time. Samsung with the late ward. Look at that, that's actually very smart. This time they, they adapted, they, they got the necessary wards in to see whether or not that Gromp was going down. And so Samsung will be guaranteed that 2v2. So a bit of a delay right there, right as the minion wave was coming in, but they make it work. And they know what's coming for them. Yeah. Sonstar and Tucson, they're in oh, the lane. Right away in the raid. Eating a bit of damage, but that shield taking away most of the punch from those attacks. That's interesting. I mean, uh, the way you see Leon is starting out level one, it's the, oh, a lot of damage on the Tucson, but the E has been popular just to help you push through the minions faster and get that quicker level right. two, but the Q does let you just walk up and stun people, which is kind of nice sometimes. Right. Definitely Q, if you're going to use in that situation, would be a bit better, but they've already lost out here in the short range, the melee range on Leona means they can't effectively trade. Fury already getting that shield up and putting some yeah. hurt onto Sonstar. So this will be a passive lane, at least early on. That means they're going to be pretty reliant on Ares. I really do think that IM would have been better off with the lane swap in this game. But perhaps they want to punish Kuve's Mundo pre-6 with the hard CC from Maokai, but now they are in a tough situation where both side lanes need the jungler and the mid lane can really use the jungler as well. Gives Ares some choices to make. Otherwise, bottom is just going to be shoved in. And this lets Samsung push bots so aggressively yep. too. If they know Ares is right there, kind of do whatever they want. And looks like he is not going to pass by that ward, so. Oh, okay, oh, a little bit of action. 
going for the scuttle crab. Yep. Nope. Ooh, all right, well, they see him. And so Samsung able to back off. Yeah, he knows there's a ward there now, and so he's just going to turn back around again. At the very least, it does give IM's duo lane a bit more breathing room. Yeah. And now it allows them to also make a play up in top lane, Eve level three. Staying yeah. in the tri brush. Will Lilac continue to press forward? He should know this is a bit of a dangerous situation. It doesn't seem too worried yet. And here comes Eve. Coming back in, Lilac goes in with the twisted advance. He may need to flash here. He's getting solo. There's a flash, but the Q follow from Eve, and that's first blood for Samsung. Really nicely done, waiting for the flash to follow up with that, that Q. Good job. Yeah, very nicely executed gank. Unfortunately, he does get the kill in the end, but they are going to help get that Mundo through the laning phase. And Samsung, you know what, Doha? This is going pretty well for them already. Yeah. Just in terms of how the lanes have been playing out, although Tucson and Sonstar have recovered due to Ooh. Aries showing on that bottom side. Stunned Wraiths, a little bit of damage, but yeah. He's not going a cheesy solo queue, 100% armor Leona, so oh. he will take a bit more damage. It's my favorite those, way uh, to play Leona in the solo queue, Doha. Yep, just go tank masteries instead of utility. You can just take autos for days at the early levels. That's right. But not at the pro scene. Wow, Fury. Sans are taking a lot of damage here. Really kind of playing with fire. Well, they knew they had Lee backing them up right there. Yep. And so Ares walking in. They really want to kill. They want to punish Kube. They get the slow. Yep, that's right. Kube could be in trouble. Nice knockup as well. Kube with no flash. This should be a kill for IM. He's trying to get away to level six. Oh, dodging all the skill shots. Ares finally picks him off with the Q. Junglers are the ones getting all the killing blows this game, but meanwhile, Samsung takes a dragon down and bot. Samsung just seems to have all the answers. Well, they're just a step ahead this game, and yeah. IM is forced to play reactively. They want to get this Mundo down early. They can't let him have that oh. advantage. All in for Frozen, misses his Q. Oh, man, there's the exhaust coming down after the stun, after the slow, and Frozen in big trouble. Eve comes in and makes another play for Samsung. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I am. I am in a little bit of trouble. They're going to take their anger out on Kuve again. Wow, that is brutal, right as he teleports into the top lane again. So they know they need to keep this Mundo down, but still none of the kills actually going over to Lilac. Ares picking up them both. Wow, yeah, both junglers taking all the kills here. Wow, okay, well, still the dragon advantage there. They've treated blows except for that one objective, but again, Samsung just that one step ahead. And there's no real pressure onto this Zareth yet. Of course, Ares not level six, getting very close right now. And that may be the time in which he goes for this, but Ace didn't have to use his flash or his cleanse in order to get the kill onto Frozen. Meanwhile, flash on Frozen used. Bit of a confusing attempt by right there by Frozen, considering he didn't have any vision on this bottom side yeah. to go all in. And then even then missing his skill shots, maybe not his most comfortable champion. And he's back in lane now. Ace looking pretty good early on that Zareth. And not much else though, and it's nope. another farm game, but this is where the matchup tilts in Ari's favor if she has that jungle backup. But look at the wards again. Opportunity taken by Wraith to go ahead, move in, and he's going to be seen by the crab anyway. So there's really not much he can do. I, I just don't understand. Lane swap would have been so optimal here for Incredible Miracle it to is, just continually punish the Zareth. It is a bit puzzling. It's almost like there are too many options about where to go for Ares right now. Well, I am certainly seems uh, overwhelmed a bit across the board in this game. Especially because Ares is this newer jungler to the team, you might as well make it a bit easier on him instead of forcing him to make all these complex decisions, yep. considering that he does have hard CC in all of his lanes. Trial by fire, I guess. 
top laners do what top laners do, which is to use their ults on each other and then just go right back to farming again. It's the most exciting part about top lane. Doesn't that make you want to play uh, yeah. top lane, though? Uh, no. Maybe. Well, you get to use your ultimate more often. It's more exciting that way. Yeah. Eh. If I played top, I'd probably just go back to my top Z like I used to play. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Another gank from Ares. The camping is still here. Now he's nearly got that flashback up. Look at the timing on this gank with yeah, the flash. No ult for uh, Mundo right now, too, so this is really, really good. Kuve in big trouble here. Flash almost up. Is he going to get it? Doesn't look like it. And Ares grabs another killing blow. Why not? I'll just go ahead and take it if you're there. That's the tax yeah. that you get. Right. in the lane. What a great timing from IM. Yeah, they exploited the uh, cooldowns on the summoner and the ult very, very well. And it looks like IM may be able to just grab this top lane turret too. Yeah, this is their edge right now, so they have to hope that Lilac does get super tanky. He's going for that catalyst, however, decided to purchase another Doran's ring, so he is a little bit behind, but his farm way up there as well. Yeah. Thanks to Kuve being repeatedly denied, wasting his teleport, like kind of getting killed teleporting and getting killed again in his last attempt. And so now, Lilac needs to translate this into something big for himself. Well, Tucson's in a ward right now, Whirlwind loaded up. Tucson, here's it, there we go, he's like, ah. It, it's so it's so lame when you you reveal a ward and then it dies before you can kill it. You're like, no. <laughs> it's the worst feeling ever. My favorite is when you reveal two wards, but you can only get five auto attacks down yep. in that time. It's so irritating. See, but if you play a champion like a Leona, you can use her Q to get uh, quick auto resets and kill the two wards. But most of the time, you just end up frustrated. It's true. Well, a little bit of a lead for IM now as they take that first turret. We'll see if they can equalize the dragons here in about a minute. And that was really kind of their, one of their major failings in the last game is just not being able to fight Samsung for those dragons at all. Well, but in game one, they were totally dominant over that objective. Yeah. It's just whoever gets the first dragon in these games seems to get the rest of, run the table on them for the rest of the time. I mean, there had just hasn't been a lot of competition. Both teams playing pretty uh, scared, actually, or failing to set up properly. I mean, this is kind of the play you would expect from the bottom tier teams in this league. Yep. Yeah, not too shocking. 30 seconds now, and the vision all in IM's favor at the moment around that dragon, just the one pink behind the pit. Oh, I guess there's actually a regular ward nearby too, but. Yeah, here comes Eve using that Raptor buff to at least grab a ward. Yep. But a pretty late recall actually too from late. Incredible Miracle. Are they able, gonna, going to be able to hold on to this dragon? Because there is going to be a pretty good timing window to go for this one. Yeah, in fact, uh, Samsung's gonna start it already and I am not there to contest. What was that recall? Just terrible from Incredible Miracle. That was really bad. I'm not sure what you'd be. I'm not sure why you'd do that. You know, I although I did they have the timer on that? I don't think they did actually. Because Samsung took that first I one. I mean, they should early. have it within a few seconds, honestly. That's. In any case, they just give that one straight up. If they were maybe 10 seconds off, it could have caused that. Of course, I am getting there a little bit too late. So they'll have the timer on this one, however. Eve coming down. And he may need to be there, because it looks like Tucson and Sonstar want to make some sort of play. Tucson in the brush there. But they just don't have any vision. And yeah, here comes Lee Sin. Got to play it safe. And just no pressure onto Zareth this entire game so far. Yeah, Ares has level six, and Ace has been playing close to the turret, but you, you need to do something around this mid lane. Pink, deep pink ward going in. Look at all the control they're getting over the top side as we do see Lilac starting to freeze. Oh, Solar Flare goes down. They're gonna do a 2v3 here. Teleport coming in from Lilac to even things out. Frozen coming down as well. I am collapsing on the entire team. Kube came in as well. So it's advanced. They're gonna get pushed back by Wraith for now. A kill comes in for Frozen. And I am's gonna be happy with that one. They 
save their turret. They got a kill onto their mid laner. Not yeah, too bad. Lots of flashes used for that engage, but they did manage to make a payoff in the end. Actually, good engage initially by Tucson to start setting up that damage. Yep. Alongside Sonstar, got some nice burst. Ace also. Two man solar flare. Yeah, no mana. And so they lose a turret. So I am starting to bounce, bounce back into this, and Ace not prepared to deal with Ari's roam, and so they will fall behind in gold, but Samsung with that dragon advantage again, which even though they found themselves at a deficit in the last game, they were able to use to force the game in the end. Yeah, that last game was one of those ones where uh, one team is always ahead on gold, but they seem to just be behind in the game overall. Well, they definitely were behind it yeah. by the end in terms of those dragons. You can see how uh, important that objective is in terms of dictating the pace of the game. Mm -hmm. And then also some positional errors with their team composition really cost them. Well, I am invading. They want to take this blue, and it looks like Tucson's going to be able to get some vision back there as well. Ares is going to pick up that one. Now, Kuve has been pretty seriously delayed this game. Yeah. Although, that Spirit Visage will be nice and efficient for him. Sonstar also falling pretty far behind. He still doesn't have his Trinity Force done yet. Very nearly, however, about three, 400 gold away until he can pick up that item, but can't quite grab it on his most recent back. So close. Yeah. Now Kuve should be able to catch up on some decent farm, catching these types of waves before they get to the turret. Lilac trying to harass as much as he can, of course. So, I am. Uh, I really, it's it's really interesting because they just seem to not have a good sense about Dragon in last game and now this game again. You know, was game one a, a fluke? I don't think so, but it's just been a, it's been a weird night. I, I think that maybe you were right about them not having the timer on that Dragon, and so they may have misjudged it by about 10 seconds, which explains their sloppy recalling. Yeah. They did have the Scuttle Crab, though, so they... They were able to grab the timer on that last one. If they can't set up properly in this next go round, it will be pretty damning evidence against them about their no poor ability to that. play against around these objectives, rather. Yeah. But Samsung really does seem like they're on their back foot now. They do have that pretty substantial gold disadvantage. This Mundo still trying to build into relevance right now and Lilac putting down all the pressure. And this game has really been about that Maokai, this whole series. Yep, certainly uh, quickly becoming the top priority pick. At least between Korea. these two teams. That's the thing is like, it's, if this were a different match, then I don't think it would be such a big deal. But uh, both Kuve and Lilac haven't been the best on some of the more carry-oriented top laners that a lot of other players are capable of harnessing here. For example, Lissandra just falling all the way through the draft right. in our last two games. So well, I think that's just a limitation of the teams that we're seeing that made Maokai this important. I, I mean, certainly he's very good, but he's not 100% necessary, except apparently to Samsung and Incredible Miracle. IM's got some pretty good deep wards. They look like they really want to take this next dragon seriously. Yeah, they're well set up for it. They have that item edge. No but teleport for either top laner at the moment. I wonder, that's uh, probably... Lilac should just go back now and buy, yeah. honestly. Looks like the teleport might just that's barely be up after the dragon spawns. Yeah, looks like it may be, but still having bought during that time period could be very useful. Uh, of course, Lilac does have that gold advantage on his opponent, so that's part of where the lead that's come, that IM has is coming from, so they want to capitalize on that as much as possible, even though they have this nice quirky power spike as well yep. with the Trinity Force. Looks like they're just going to wait for that teleport, though. I am getting ready, wanting to maybe make a pick on to Samsung here. Oh, recalls, all right. Top lane recall buddies. Last second. Recalls, as it were. Yeah, he's got the teleport. Both top laners do now. Really trying to set up this pick. Ares 
Could have dodged some skill shots right there. Dragon does get aggroed. He'll take a few taps from that. Wow. Oh, oh too he soon. missed it. Here comes the teleport. I am has to back off a little bit. Lilac teleporting in himself as well. Coming in with the home guards from behind. And it looks like he's going to go way in there now. Push back by Wraith. Sonstar, though, coming in to do a lot of damage from the outside. Nice Cataclysm locks people up. It doesn't look like Ace is able to pick anyone off with his ultimate, though. And I am two kills. Looks like they might be able to grab this dragon. Ace and Fury is still up, so that's some potential damage, but I am going for it. Yeah, now they should be easily able to take this one out. Frozen still at full HP. Yep. And Lilac, what a great engage. He managed to blow both of Ace's summoner spells instantly. Twisted advance forcing him to cleanse and flash back, and then he just didn't have the damage to clean it up. Yeah. Lilac with the Merc treads and the home guard getting the drop onto Samsung, so nicely played team fight. And I don't know, though, I, I, I just so worried about the, this Zareth, and if he has to burn two summoners on this, there's a, a million other ways to get back to him, like we said, there we go. Lilac comes in, smashes him, then he has to flash. Ares and Lilac get blown back, but everyone from Samsung is just in a choke right there, taking rocket, uh, quirky rocket damage and line AOE from Ari. Yep. So it was uh, the perfect place to fight, pretty much, for Incredible Miracle. So. Yeah, it would have been good for Samsung as well had Zareth not been chased out of the choke and been pushed too far back in order to make it really work. Uh, Kuve pops that ult. He's gonna just run for it. And they spot that ward. Hmm. Well, apparently Tusa doesn't get, care if they know where he is. I guess not. Bit dangerous to walk in there by himself. They know Mundo is just backing off, but I suppose they see Ace in the mid lane and He's a brave guy. Become slightly less nervous. Ari is not following him into the dark and dangerous jungle. It's true. Once in a while, there's a Rengar in there. But if it's Lee's Rengar, you're OK. Yes, the, the least threatening. I do find it hilarious that the GE Tigers can't play the cat champion. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Maybe they could give Ari a try. That's true. More Ari, but she's not as cat-like, I will say. She's fox-like. Could go uh, Tiger Stance with Udyr, too. Oh. That'd be the most appropriate, I think. <laughs> great great point. Less lion, more entirely Tiger. It's true. But you, you can't switch stances. That's the... <laughs> you that's can the, only <laughs> stay in Tiger Stance. <laughs> that's All the, match. Oh, that's going to go great. All right. I suppose we could, we could change it so you could just... At the very least, you have to max Tiger Stance first. OK. That's, that's acceptable. You can do that once in a while. I'm just waiting for Tom, SK Telecom sub jungler, to debut his magnificent solo queue Udyr. Oh, it's going to wow, be awesome. Wow, Lilac having to use Flash right there. People just kind of wandering into the jungle alone right now when they. It's a bit odd. There are a bunch of people from Samsung accounted for on the top side. The decisions in this series compared to uh, what we saw from Jin Air versus GE is pretty different. Yeah, and if you guys missed that series, do go back and watch it. Really good games yeah. between Jin Air and GE Tigers. Certainly worth a check out of the VODs. Rose oh, yeah. just going to keep split pushing right now. The, the Ableist and Fury playing very far back. Eve wants to get an angle right here. Does sweep out with that Oracle's lens. More pink wards on that side of the jungle, however, just to give Fury a little bit more safety in terms of farming. And now, this is so unnecessary from R Lilac. Yeah, he's just, I don't know. He's like, oh, I better kill the Grump. Got to do it. 68 gold worth. <laughs> just face tank it, even yep. though uh, yeah, he's got some wards, but ha already burned his flash for wandering around their jungle a little too haughtily. I mean, I am just trying to put as much pressure as they possibly can on Samsung right now. It looks like they're ready to, they just want to end it, you know? Yeah, and, and ways I suppose in the, the absence of anything else to do, they can't really siege versus the Zareth and the Graves, the wave clear, yep. simply too good. So the best they can do is split push right now and 
keep Samsung on their toes and maybe potentially threaten an all-in with this Ari. Yeah, if they can get Samsung to move around enough, they can start grabbing picks and then start taking a turret or two. Well, they are getting damage down onto turrets slowly, and they are moving in, but... Oh, you got uh, There you go. Huh. <laughs> well, it feels like they're just kind of messing around with them right now. See, Tucson is failing, though, at the uh, Leona taunting. You have to spam control three, so you wildly wave your parasol in the air. That is the key with, with, with especially the Beach Party Leona skin. Wildly yeah. waving your sword isn't quite as intimidating. If, Still you're looks funny. if you're playing standard Leona, the best way to taunt is to repeatedly beat your shield because it makes that <laughs> nice, like, metallic thump sound. It's true. Whereas that's the failing of the Pool Party Leona skin is that it makes, it makes this very disappointing wooden clumping sound because it's on the surfboard instead. It's weird because it kind of looks like one of those, like, boogie board thing, so do you think it'd be more like kind of a foam sort of sound, you know? Yeah, whatever it is, it's way lamer than her pounding on her shield. Yeah, so just wave the parasol around. <laughs> but that, that is the intricate analysis of the best way to taunt your opponents with Leona, depending on skin. There is nuance to it. Yeah, and it's important to learn this too, especially against like a Blitzcrank, because you just do that right outside of grab range and he'll try it, and then you can just spam laugh at him after he misses. Get him on tilt a little bit, easy pickings. <laughs> yeah. Well, I suppose to IM's credit, they actually have been able to deal some damage to these turrets throughout their repeated endeavors, and at least they have everything pressed up for a very, very, very easy dragon. Yep. Slowly but surely, and that will uh, tie up the dragons, it looks like. Now, oh, wow. Oh, Solar Flare goes down. Ace just goes ahead and cleanses right out of that. Might as well blow a summoner while you're at it. You can set up the dive again later. Leona's ultimate. Pretty low cooldown. Yep. Don't have to worry about that one too much. And this is just I mean, it's a pretty classic game of choking out your opponent, snowballing an advantage. Just yeah, pretty much. Taking every little edge that you can, and Samsung very much have a difficult time actually closing out this game at this point. I have no idea really what their plans for engagement are, and that's one of the big problems that Samsung has with this composition is they have pretty much no engage. Uh, they could just get kited forever. True. Effectively. Uh, tons of, well, not even tons, some disengage. Oh, Charm on the A lot of damage onto him. Frozen, uh, not bothering to use that Ignite. Didn't think he'd be able to finish him off, but good poke. Now, Mundo running at you isn't particularly scary, so they're really, really reliant on Eve to get a kick or something down, but there are a couple, there's basically only two targets you want to kick, and both of them have dashes in Ari and Corky. Anybody else is actually going to cause you a lot of problems. Yeah. As they repeatedly CC you. I just really don't like Samsung's draft this game. They don't, they just can't do anything, really. Well, they might be able to kill this mid lane turret. Wow, they I really. I am just vacating that one. They're like, all right, yeah, go ahead and have a turret. Sansar coming in, he's the only one there for now, though. The rest of the team has to get there. They'll lose the turret. Wow. Maokai not actually going to be able to engage in the end. Wow, just giving up that one for free. Pretty Bit much. Odd. Ari still trying to split push. That was definitely a miscommunication from Incredible Miracle about yeah. who is going to be where because they could have 100% defended that if Ari was not sitting in the bot lane. I feel like these guys are starting to get a little bit fatigued here. Uh, it definitely isn't the most exciting game of League of Legends that we've seen. Nope. So at least we can watch. Uh, oh, I thought Graves was going to dive headfirst into the ground there. <laughs> Which is what uh, you may feel like doing after uh, watching this game a little bit longer. Just, you know, get up on the couch and... It's only a couple feet. Wow, Doha, are you actually trying to convince people to dive headfirst into the ground? I'm just weighing options, you know, with this game, that's all. <laughs> that's all. Are you trying to put our viewers out of their misery? I'm just saying that uh, losing consciousness and it may not be the worst thing ever <laughs> at this point. Wow, Doha, thanks for the lawsuits. <laughs> Ace in trouble, and he's gone. Goodbye. That was big trouble. Oh, Lilac looked like he just appeared out of Ace's body. 
He was resurrected from the ashes I guess of Theron. So. I'm here. And so I am going to go for the Baron here. Can Samsung do anything to stop that? Charm onto Eve, a little bit of damage. Lilac pops that ultimate. Tucson taking a lot. They're going to go in deep onto this one. Wraith pops his ultimate to push people away. Eve manages to get a kill. What is Sodstar doing? I'm not quite sure. He's uh, going to die, apparently. And Samsung cleaning this fight up a little bit. Wraith, so they're a double kill now for Eve. And Lilac, the only one left. And just like the deforestation in certain parts of the world, a slow death to the tree here. People see it happening, there's just nothing they can do. And there's the ace actually from wow. Samsung, so a huge turnaround after they kill Ace. What is this game? We call that the ace for ace. That's uh, <laughs> the revenge ace for the ace, ace. Wow, well that was a hugely misplayed team fight from Incredible Miracle. Tucson going in, but the rest of his team not on the same page and not turning immediately actually. Yeah. And then Eve doing some amazing work in the back lines. Actually, I'm not even sure how Sonstar ended up next to Fury. That is not where you want to be if you are a Corky against the Graves. No. I like how Tucson kind of just walked up to the turret before it died at the end there. He's like, what are you guys doing? Oh. All right, so Tucson right. flashes for this one, but there's a good tornado, so they lack follow-up. Lilac goes on to Fury. What is Sonstar? Uh, he bounced in. Whoa. No. So meanwhile, while his back line is getting assassinated by Kuve and Eve, he decides that he is going to Valk into the Cataclysm. Now, see, the thing is about a team fight like that is the Cataclysm has already contained Eve, or uh, has already contained Fury. So you don't need to go in there. What you need to do is to save Ari and Leona while everyone else is bottled up. That was some incredibly bad positioning from Sonstar. And that means that Samsung actually aces them 4v5. Yeah, they did it without their mid laner. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. And, uh, yep. I'm kind of feeling the same way. Dragging up in 30 seconds now. I am wants a bit of a redemption ace for their ace, revenge, ace, <laughs> ace. They want an ace, ace, for Ace's Ace? Definitely. <laughs> Indubitably. You know, it's always great when these League of Legends players actually name themselves after champions or concepts in the game. Yes, I'm talking about you, Lee, Eve, and Ace. Yeah. Stop it. Hurts bad. <laughs> Eve playing Lee Sin, why? Stop it. Dragon's back. Dragon, Dragon's like, hey, yo, I'm here. You can feel free to come by. We'll hang out. No, no. Well, Kuve has actually managed to find a way back into this game in spite of being totally dominated early on. Samsung going for the third Dragon here. It would be the third for IM as well. Kuve being very tanky, and here we go, going deep. They're gonna try to get this dragon. Ari goes way in. It looks like the dragon, uh, dragon taken by IM rather. Meanwhile, Ace tries to pick somebody off. Frozen, I don't know how he managed to get so deep there, but Lilac in big trouble now. Samsung looks like they're gonna be able to win the team fight, but they lost the dragon. I'm confused as to how Sonstar and Frozen ended up on opposite ends of that team fight in the river, so that well, there was basically no way to protect both of their carries at one time. Yeah, Frozen had like some really weird dash. I think he may have gotten just kicked. We'll have to go back and see that. Well, he didn't start on the top side of the river. He started on the bottom side in any yeah, case. And Sonstar and Leona. So yeah, that was like a really awkward engagement for them. We'll see. Uh, you don't normally see carries try and execute flanking maneuvers or pincer movements like that because it becomes too easy just to instantly kill one of them. Yeah. And oh now, boy. Samsung going for the Baron. This could be really an incredible turnaround. IM's right there, though. Not all, not all of IM, but some of them. Smite down, though, for Ares, which is a bit awkward. And IM may need to give this one up. Let's see, Kuve trying to zone. Samsung's going to turn. There's the oh, solo what a solo player to Tucson. It was pretty good. Frozen has to turn around again. Ares a little bit locked out. Low health for Samsung, though. Can they possibly stretch this out? He comes back through. There's a double kill now. For Fury, Sonstar died again. And Samsung, they are indeed starting to turn this one around though. Baron at full health, I don't know about this. Frozen going into the pit, doing a bit more damage to Kuve. 
And yeah, they're gonna have to let this Baron go. That's a little bit too dangerous with uh, Ari right there. Or maybe if they kill him, no. dodges. Fury still going, Whoa. tries ult, they turn right back onto it. No ult for Mundo for a few more seconds. This is so dangerous. Frozen very low, but Lilac could still cause some trouble. Baron doing most of the work of I am oh for my. them. Lilac coming in, there's a heal from Wraith. Here comes Lilac, twist advance onto Wraith to cancel that heal. Baron is I am's best friend right now. There's a knockup, pops the ultimate. Frozen still trying to do something. Fury comes over the wall and takes him out. Baron does go to Samsung. Lilac still there, gets kicked back into the team. Kuve low, oh, Lilac manages to get in onto Wraith. But Ace finally finishes him off. This is one of the most bizarre games I think I've seen all season. I, I think this is the deleted candidate for worst game of the season I, so far. I agree. But agree. you really have to give credit to Eve. He has been such a force this game. He is the reason why Samsung has been able to come back and did so well in the last game also. Yeah. He's been threading the needle onto the carries of Incredible Miracle. Oh boy, Houston's at it again. They get the slow onto Ace. There's a nice double QE combo. Both carries taken out now. Well, there's two Baron buffs that I am. Doesn't have to worry about. Kube's like, well, uh, my team has no damage at the moment. I am's like, let's go get Bear. Oh, wait. This game makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> At least something's happening now. It's not a good thing, but it's something. I mean, that's the dangers of playing Zareth into this composition right there, in essence. Yep. Now, Dubé nice backing play. away. Yeah, Twist Advance comes in. They're going to be able to take out the tank, the turret. And what else? What else is I am going to get now? against this Baron powered Samsung team. I don't. We're gonna get two turrets. This Samsung is, just like wandered in one by one to defend that turret when they could have just let the outer go right yep. there. This is happening. And regrouped while they had the Baron advantage. Two and three, a little bit of damage on the Ares. He took the collateral damage from Fury as well too. So I am just gonna back off for a moment. This is a real game of League of Legends, guys. I. I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's so even. <laughs> Very close. Nail biter. It is, but in all the wrong ways. Yeah. Even the Korean casters are uh, <laughs> laughing it up. Yeah, this is not a. Uh... I mean, that was. Why would you try and defend your tier one at that price when you just got I Baron just, and I could push know. in afterwards? I don't know. It's just so not worth it. These teams are not going to be at IEM, by the way. <laughs> this is, I want to make that clear. <laughs> Well, they were able to get one outer turret with that Baron. Nice job. Yeah, maybe they'll get another one, too. They have. Yeah, maybe. They didn't lose any inhibitor turrets, so they've got that going for them, I suppose. Yeah. And they have managed to regroup a little bit, but they won't push a tier two. Instead, they're just going to recall. Graves is ready to. Okay. Recall. Well, we're, we're all even, Doa. We are this even This has up. been a very wacky game. Yep, sure has. Windows, corporate Windows working overtime now. He's gonna fire that bird. Raptor's not gonna work for him anymore. <laughs> no birds. Yep. Yeah, that's probably against the law. You can't discriminate on your hiring practices like that. Well, maybe you're just not allowed to uh, put birds to work against their will like that, you know? Well, 30 seconds until this dragon right now. Nobody really deeply threatening yep. any kind of thorough dragon dominance yet. So then the soccer ball ran out and exploded against a giant zombie corporate person. <laughs> Is he a zombie? Isn't he more like uh, Mr. Like, Hyde? I suppose. Science experiment gone wrong. It's true. Or quite right, I guess, depending on who you quite are the, your perspective. Uh, <laughs> quite the corporate allegory there. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Executive character. The family man, but ruthless businessman. <laughs> Window fire. But won't miss his kid's baseball game. Houston going in. And Fury cleanses right out of that one. Kube gonna turn it around. I am still there, pushed back by Wraith. A little bit of healing coming in. Frozen kicked over the wall. He manages to get back with Flash though. Pops that Ignite. Will it be enough damage? Kube getting low. Frozen will pick that one up. I am 
threatening Dragon up. Wow, right they now. actually uh -oh. managed to kill Kube right there. Dodge and three. Oh. oh, did hit Frozen on the last one. It did. But, you know, while Mundo died, all of those cooldowns used on one target, and the rest of Samsung isn't very low. This is going to be the fourth Dragon if I am can take it. Ace is going to try to do it, and it looks like Samsung does grab the Dragon. That's and right. And W's over as very well. Nice. Look at the spike that was put down in terms of damage. They coordinated wow. the Tornado and the Zerith Q and Eve Smite all at the same time. So it turned it into a bit of a 50-50, and that's number three for Samsung. It is. Ties it up, I believe, three dragons apiece. And we are nearly dead even in gold. Nearly dead even in turrets and kills as well. It's certainly one of the most even games of League of Legends we've seen as well. Yes, many mistakes were made by both sides That's right. in this game. And in spite of IM's incredibly dominant position, we've seen we've seen some pretty tremendous errors so far. Yeah. I think this is going to be the low the low point of our season, Della. It's, it's this certainly game. looking like it. Yeah. But will Samsung be able to break their losing streak? They do have yet to win a single match. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, Kuve steals it with the cleaver. Mundo steal. He could be indicted for that. <laughs> it's dangerous. That's when the Rune Terra police come and drag you away. That's right. Although they don't take you away for repeatedly murdering people on Summoner's Rift. That's true. Only white collar crime is, uh, <laughs> is prosecuted here on Summoner's Rift. Wow, it's like the bizarro version of the real world. That's true. Make sure you uh, pick up every one of those documents that falls out of Mundo's briefcase when he throws it. That's right. They're very valuable in the discovery phase of his trial. Yeah. Oh. You know, I feel like when Mundo throws a briefcase at Maokai, it's just taunting him with the bodies of his relatives. Oh, Ace gets caught, gets over the wall with the exhaust, frozen in a lot of trouble, gets low. That's a kill. Ace manages to pick it off with the ultimate. E very low as well, too. Now Ares trying to equalize. Kill for a kill, can they do it? Two sin a bit low, uh-oh, Samsung. Looks like they've got this fight on lockdown. Sonstar on the run. Fury jumps ahead for the kill on the two sin, and now Lilac in a lot of trouble. He'll get taken out as well. And Baron is live. It is indeed, uh, Twisted Advance coming in. Wow, Lilac is so tanky, but Ace finally picks it up. And everybody hide your face. Yep, I wouldn't want to be caught watching this game. <laughs> Too bad, Doa, I caught you. That's right, I know you're here too. It's documented now. Oh man. Yeah, Wraith with the heels. And there goes the inhibitor. Are they just gonna try to end it? Uh, they definitely should not try to end it. Which means they're gonna try to end it. Look at that. Nice play by Eve going in and immediately dying. I am like that one. <laughs> it's ARAM, guys. We have entered the ARAM zone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore, Doe. They could have just turned around and taken the Baron right there. Eve did not have to go in and try and kick Sonstar out. We need your expert analysis now more than ever, Monte Cristo. <laughs> Fans need to know what, what the hell's going on in this game, because I don't, this I don't is, think any of us do. This is killing my soul. <laughs> Yeah, Baron's up. Looks like I am going to wow. get a chance at it. Wow, if only Samsung had a jungler right now in order to attempt to contest this. I am should just do the Baron. Yeah, they're thinking about it. There we go. Uh, start. Do the Baron. And it's going to go down quickly. And will I am survive the fight that's going to ensue immediately after this Baron dies, though? That's the question. Here we go. They're going to try to recall out of that. All right, so. No fight. You know what I really wanted was this game to go on for another 10 minutes. I know, right? You know, you think about it right now, the GE Tigers are just tucked in, <laughs> snug in their beds, <laughs> getting a good night of sleep, and we're here watching IM versus their, Samsung. Their business class flights. I know, right? That they won by beating Jin Air. <laughs> Maybe Jin Air bet that. Did you ever think about oh, that? Oh, could be, I wonder. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. They are a subsidiary of Korean Air, so. Yeah. Maybe Jyn Air was like, hey, guys, if you beat us, you win the reward of business class. Yeah, I don't want to call it uh, betting 
Don't want to be talking <laughs> about betting around esports here in Korea, man. That's true. That's true. Although the players do say whoever wins has to pay dinner for the other ones frequently. Light betting is okay. Apparently. Buckshot. Okay, well, Samsung opting for the bottom lane. And I am trying to catch them. Dragon up in a minute. This would be the fourth dragon for both of them. Uh-oh, Lilac caught out completely. He's going to pop that ultimate. He's going to get destroyed. Fury with the kill there. Meanwhile, on the back line's Frozen getting jumped on as well. Looks like Hubei's going to keep him locked down. Sansar coming in to try to help out. Oh, Frozen gets out with the flash. Still trading one for one, but critically yep. the tank going down, and they're also able to delay that Baron buff. That's going to be an easy dragon for Samsung. Hey, what do you know? They're actually going back for the objective instead of trying wow. to find another team fight. I'm sure the coaches are just in agony right now. I know, right? Oh, well, wait, no. We get a team fight. Oh, yeah. The old Samsung. Oh, Ares. Too. Completely caught out by that Xerath stun fury with another killing blow. Man, I was really hoping that both teams would go to four dragons in this game. Now I'm sad. We really need to keep up the tension, though, as much as possible. Dragon's like, go away. <laughs> this has gone on long enough. Yep. Dragon number four. Hooray. Even the crowd's like, ah. Hey. Hey, don't take this away from Samsung. This could be their first major win since the World Championship. You're right. <laughs> Is this a major win? Uh, well, it's first, a win. Their first match win since the World Championship. Preseason doesn't count. The last time we saw Samsung win a series, they hoisted the Summoner's <laughs> Cup. Wow, and Imagine truly. Dragons played them off the stage. This is truly an error to that moment. We've come so far. <laughs> oh, Samsung. I, besides that one misplay, though, Eve really has been good this game. There's not, Don't take that away from him either. 17 out of 19 kill contributions, and he was part of that really impressive turnaround, uh, managing to take that 4v5 fight. So mm -hmm. he's been very on point tonight overall. And the amount of damage he's been able to do to the carries, especially Sawstar and control him, has been impressive. This game's getting a bit wacky, but uh, we did see better stuff in terms of from both teams early in the game. Yeah, in terms of individual performances, there's it's just decision making that's really falling apart for both of these teams right now, and it's yeah. something that they're going to go back and look at and uh, be ashamed. Kind of face palm over, I'm sure. But it's hard to make those decisions in the moment in the game. Something that takes a considerable amount of poise and practice. But, uh, yeah. I mean, even Ace, I'm impressed he's managed to not die as much as he has. He's had to blow both of his summer spells nearly simultaneously in effectively all the team fights so far. Well, inhibitor's back for I am now. But he's only died two times. Yep. So that's. He's had a good game. And Samsung has been doing a good job of peeling for him. Or if they don't peel for him, they kick Sodstar and kill him immediately so that I am has to retreat. Yeah, with uh, Sonstar, it's kind of surprising that he only has two deaths in this game because it does really feel like he's been kind of uh, in the, a bad position in most of the fights we've seen. Lilac waiting for the flank right now. Yeah. Thinking about teleporting. There are three Oracle's lenses on Samsung, but there are tons of wards still for Lilac to TP to. That's yeah. not very methodical play right there. They've given them an opportunity to get All onto right. their back line. Here's the flank. Lilac coming in from behind. He's going to twist advance right onto Fury. Get exhausted immediately. Meanwhile, I am trying to break through the Kube line in the back, and it's not going too well. Looks like they finally get in now. Whoa! Frozen manages to get that kill onto Eve, but he's low himself as well. The ult coming in. Is it enough? It will be after Fury adds a bit more damage. A double kill for him. And Samsung, despite the flank, is able to take that team fight. They'll be able to get the inhibitor, and they may be able to just end the game here, too. We'll yeah, see. There's only one turret left. That's and Lilac's why. still alive. That's going to make it difficult. Well, so Sonstar. He's got a little bit of damage to I add. I think they should just back off right here and just go for the Baron. This no, is... no, they're going to fight it. You got another minion wave coming. Don't worry. They come fairly often down the lane. Here's the one now. All right, Lilac 
Activates the ultimate, the turret getting low. They might just decide to bull rush their way to a win here. There goes the turret. And Aries doing everything he can here. Meanwhile, the Nexus getting taken down. Fury doing that damage. He turns. He's low. There's the Cataclysm. Gets out with the cleanse. He's still alive. No, a kill for Sonstar. Kube, can he be the hero? A he's, double he's kill for okay. Ares. Ares coming in, and there it is. Samsung gets their first series win of the season in uh, exciting, interesting fashion. Wow. Well, at least we didn't have a team going defeated throughout the entire season. Yeah. He played quite well tonight, and wow. Well, I well, it was something. The Samsung's fans, they they haven't gotten to celebrate like this. It's a it's a big moment for Samsung. In all seriousness, well, I'm Samsung, happy for those guys. Samsung fans had a lot to celebrate last year, as both of their teams were pretty incredibly dominant over the stretch, but. It's a nice turnaround for this young new team and the Tears of joy. Agree. They are yep. happy for these Samsung players. Samsung players don't seem too happy themselves. Well, it was a bit of a, uh, you know, it was kind of like nine rounds in a boxing match. At the end of it, even if you win, you're pretty beat up. <laughs> and fatigued. Yeah. It's true. But the professor will put down the chalk, shake out the erasers, and uh, turn off the lights <laughs> at school next once time. more. It's the weekend. Well.